Welcome back to our channel, YouTube. My name is Kristen Forgione. I'm the founder, creative director, and principal designer of The Lifestyle Co. And I am introducing you to a brand new project today. This is our 53rd build. <laughs> Built in partnership with ENS, the architect is JA Drafting, and we are here in Paradise Valley, Arizona. And this little shack is quite the project. It's definitely already becoming such a favorite in our office for so many reasons, which I'll tell you a little bit about as we walk and talk. But so this is a construction update, and I know some of you have asked in past, what is a spec and how is a spec different from some of the other projects that you see on our channel? So a spec is basically short for spec home, and it's a it's a home that is built without a client or an end user. So, um, and I will say, you're gonna hear some sound in the background because this is a construction site and we have tradesmen working. So if you hear anything, I'll try to kind of increase my volume, but you might, oh, there we go, Arn. <laughs> you, you might hear um, tape measures dropping or saws or whatever, but ENS, builds the home, we design it, we furnish it, we get to photograph it. It is an absolute treat and like creme de la creme for any designer because for the most part, we don't get told no and there's no client specification that we have to worry about. So the idea is that the home will go on the market. This home will likely go on the market upwards of about 8 million. So it's a pretty big price tag. So we are able to do some amazing finishes in here that you have not seen from us yet. So um, let's get started. Just off the entry in this home is the dining room. And I should also tell you, the house is 6,400 square feet in the main area and then 1,200 square feet in a casita that is attached to the home. This is the formal dining room. And as I mentioned, in a spec, we don't get told no and we can pretty much do whatever we want. So when you see this project come through YouTube and you see the finished product, we're actually kind of designing and styling it like a lounge. So it doesn't have a table and chairs like you've seen um, or you would typically come to expect in a formal space. It's got like that very lounge vibe. Some of our inspiration for this project was the Santa Monica Proper Hotel. If you are not familiar, look it up. It is such an incredible, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful project. I love it so much. Um, it, it just, just in kind of the colorway, there's a lot of dark, much darker finishes in this home. I think when we were thinking about who would end up buying it, certainly maybe a family. I could definitely see like a really swanky athlete ending up here because there are some choices in this home that are just like, so cool, too cool for school, too cool for school. So this is one of the spaces. Behind me is a bar, so you can see how we wrapped the wine storage all the way from the top of the built-in all the way down to the floor. And then this right here is getting Palisandro marble. So it's a very, very, very exotic stone that I frankly never thought I would have the balls to put anywhere. <laughs> But RJ Bialkowski, the lead designer, and I found this stone and we were like, oh my God, it looks like Missoni and we have to have it and this is the project for it. So when you see it, it's gonna be worth it, but it's, it's gonna be so good. And then in this space, we're also doing these like sheer gauzy linen-y draperies that are gonna enclose it a little bit. So I just think it's gonna be so vibey and ultimately it is an extension of the entryway. And if I can find a corner to pull back for you so you can see the flooring in here you are going to lose it. Come on, baby. Look at this. Where can I get you? Can I get you over here? Hold on. Ow, oh my gosh, I think I just gave myself a piece of cut. It's worth it. It's worth it for you to see the marble. Look at her. Oh my God. Oh, you guys. So this is marble. Two different types of marble in obviously the tan family and then a black marble family. I don't know the spec off the top of my head. It gets real dicey when you get down to this level of marble, but um, we will tell you what the marble's called in the description, of course. But so this extends all the way into the entryway as well. It's gonna be so, this project is just going to be so good. Okay, so then through the dining room, you've got this long gallery where you can go this way or you can of course go this way. Down here is office, secondaries, game room. Down there is the primary suite and the laundry room. I'll take you to both. Gonna get a little bit louder. So this is the great room. It is such a beautiful space. I absolutely adore the ceiling treatment in here. We kept it on purpose, a little bit more simple. So instead of rustic beams or a reclaimed look, we're going with just a finished, very smooth box beam. It'll all be painted the same color as the walls which it's hard to tell now, but the walls in this project are actually soji white. 
It's a little bit of a switch up. We usually go with Benjamin Moore Chantilly lace, but I wanted something a lot dustier, if that makes sense. So a lot like bringing it down, a lot chalkier, a lot dustier. We really didn't go with anything stark white in this project because we wanted it to have just a lot more depth to it. Think Santa Monica proper meets the Lifestyle Co. Mm. Maybe they'll call us someday, I don't know. Um, the surround here is going to be marble as well, which is gonna look incredible. This is a window seat. Um, TV will go up here at some point also. I wanna say we did fireplace balls in here, which you guys love to see from my house. I can't show you much of it now because it's all um, tarped off, but the landscape in this project and the, the expanse of the doors, all from Sierra Pacific doors and windows, it's just gonna be so good. I just, I truly cannot wait. The wood in here I love. Okay, kitchen. So you have seen this kitchen footprint before. It's one of the favorites from the um, architecture firm. I feel like we really reinvented it this time. So you're, you're probably pretty familiar with this floor plan, like I said, because we've done it several times. But I think this kitchen is gonna look so different than so many of the others that you've seen. One thing in this entire home, we did integrated hardware. So every single cabinet has hardware that is actually part of the cabinet door itself. So there's no additional metal component in this, in this design anywhere. The Casita, the Casita has hardware. But other than that, every other space that has cabinetry has integrated hardware. It's so good. It's such a moment. Um, and they're so easy to grab, so utility. It's gonna add so much. This whole island is like next level incredible. This is a built-in breakfast nook. It's gonna look so good. I can't decide if I should take you this way or this way. Why don't you go that way and I'll go this way and we'll meet. So you can see what I'm talking about. Here I am. Is that not incredible or what? Can you hear me? Okay, so we designed this storefront glass in this corner because I'm standing in the pantry and we wanted the sight line from the front door, the dining room where I already was, the primary suite or the laundry room to be able to see what's going on. And it is so grand and so beautiful. Like, I'm so pissed I didn't do it in my house. <laughs> my floor plan wouldn't have worked for it, but it's just gorgeous. Okay, come back around. So you can tell that sight line, right? It just like, oh my God, it makes me so happy. So there's a pocket door here that has a grid pattern, come on now, that matches that storefront glass. Hard to see, I know. But, so you'll be able to take all that in, all of this natural light that's coming into this back pantry, it would have been so dark, and we wanted to be able to figure out an opportunity to get light from both directions, which we've done. Hard to see the cabinets in here, but look at that. Oh my God, and the countertops are in. Mm, I haven't seen them. They look so good. So we're pretty obsessed with this whole design. It's gonna be incredible. It just got so much like swank and swagger. Go that way. Look at these taps. These are from Devol, our absolute fave, fave, fave. Their taps are better than anybody on the planet. This is the perfect use for them. This is a liege tile in a two by two. Like look at, it's just the layering and the fabrication on the sink is just, look at that. Mmm, so pretty. I've waited for you for so long. <laughs> Why you make me so happy, I don't know, but I love you. That, that was for our entire design team because we have been waiting to use these taps from Devol in a project for so long. And for whatever reason, like I think they're absolutely perfect, but um, clients have turned them down like many times. I mean, look at this. Like, are you kidding me with this pantry? It's so good. Shiplap on this wall, this will all get painted the same color. Sconces here. I mean, it's just huge. Like, look at how huge this is. Appliances, there's, there's a dishwasher in here. There's an ice machine, I think. Um, I don't even remember what's in here, but it's gonna be freaking amazing. There's an exterior door here, and then we can keep going this way. And now we're into the primary wing. This is going to be, these doors are for that. This is gonna be a huge pivot door. So a pivot door is a door that doesn't have hinges at the edge, it actually has hinges, let's say anywhere from six inches, eh, four inches to 10 inches inside the actual door. So it, when it opens, it opens like this and you can see light coming through this way and light coming through this way. So it's the first pivot door we've done on a primary suite, which I'm really excited about. Look at the ceiling in here. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is a good look at what the paint color 
will likely be. This is also the design for the baseboard in here. So this is the primary bedroom baseboard elevation. So we've got a lot of chunk here, ladies and gentlemen, 15 inches and three quarters of molding all put together to equal that much weight. So it's gonna be beautiful. The beams are all going the same color. So the base, the walls and the ceiling treatment is all this same like grazy, greeny color. That's just gonna be next level. That's gonna be incredible. Um, okay, the light's gonna get a little funky in here, but the primary bath, <sighs> just you wait. Okay, so no lights in here. It might get a little, but it's a construction site and you're gonna love it. Oh my God, it's so good. So um, two sides, galley style, which I know we've talked about before, but is not very common in um, floor plans, at least that we see normally. There's just so much storage in here. We put the same tile everywhere. I can't wait for you to see it. It's all covered up right now. You're gonna be able to see it when I take you into the steam shower or the shower in a little bit here. But um, I truly think it will go down as one of the best finds like of my designer career because I found it at a very, very, very random place that I haven't decided if I'm gonna share yet because it's slightly embarrassing. Um, could be Schmo Schmipo, could be Schmoes, could be Schmore and Schmore. Um, it's so incredible that this tile that should not look this good, if you chop it up and lay it the right way, it just looks, it's just insane. It's gonna break the internet once this project is done. For now though, because you're gonna have to wait. Um, the cabinets in here, take a look at that and those countertops. So again, completely integrated. So the hardware is all in there. I love the leg that goes all the way down to the floor. This is a three CM countertop with a single OG edge. Actually, this might be a two CM. I think this is two. Two CM with a single OG edge. It looks so good. The sinks, look how wide the sinks are. I know you can't see much of this like from a finish standpoint, but this is one bathroom sink. Mm, it's gonna get so good. I kind of love showing you the construction update because from here, oh, it just gets so good. And then you have the opportunity to have seen it when it was like, you know, kind of dicey. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, come this way. Look at this. So this is my secret tile. Doesn't it look like $1 million, $8 million? So this baby, this water tower, goes on, is on this side, and then is also on this side. So they go like this. And then where you're standing right now is actually gonna be bathtub. I just can't. And the door configuration that we designed for the glass enclosure in this is like absolutely next level. This, the trim, it's all fill rich, polished, nick, or I'm sorry, polished um, brass in here. It's just, it's just, and you guys, I, I personally hate large format tile. I'm not a large format tile fan. And this is large format tile and it looks so good. So we specified exactly where to put it. We started in the middle with these pieces, laid full pieces, cut around the niche. I'm just like in awe. I just can't believe how, how good it looks. Okay, let me show you the other side of the house. Okay, this is the laundry room and I can give you specs on the door because I know you guys are gonna ask. These are custom made, they're solid core, so they're not hollow, they're really you know, strong doors. Um, and we put a vertical 45 degree v grew kerf in them. If you want doors like this, take a screenshot of this, show your door person. That's gonna be the easiest way for you to get it. Um, these are also M-Tech, they're called Sandcast Bronze. I love them, they're so beautiful. These doors are also a kerf jam, so there's not any trim on the jam. They just look so clean and contemporary and easy, which is what we we're going for in this home. Um, this is the laundry room. We went with a vertical rift white oak in this space, and I just could not be more pleased with how it turned out. I'm obsessed, 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 obsessed with the integrated hardware. It looks so good. It's very expensive, so no, there's not a DIY option that I know of or a budget-friendly one either. Um, but like I said, this is an $8 million house, so. Big chunk countertop here. We went with a three-inch mitered edge on these. These are Sereno Gold from Vidara. Obsessed also with that quartz. Um, spec if you need a really great one. The flooring in here is, it's covered, but it's a pretty simple and very dirty, very, very dirty right now. But um, again, just like going for a balanced concrete grazy look. We'll of course link the specs of what we can in the description, you know we always do. We took the countertop pretty high in here. 
to almost 24 inches so that it actually takes up all of the wall space underneath the cabinets and then wraps it. Um, and then we also have kind of a mom zone or some sort of zone for whoever the future homeowner is, mom, dad, whatever, um, single person, doesn't have to be a mom or dad, can hang out here and do their thing. So this is laundry room. It'll also have um, stackable washer dryer and a full refrigerator. This is the future office. So steel and glass door enclosures. We also went with this raised panel. Wow, you can really smell that in here. Um, they were cleaning the windows with like something that's very smelly. <laughs> um, raised paneling in here, sconces on two of the four walls. It's just gonna have this like this vibe that just makes you wanna, wanna work. <laughs> you know, make, make that money, honey, for your new, your new little $8 million shack, eight plus. I don't know how much it'll go for, we'll see. Um, this is the bath between the office and the gym. So this will be gym, fitness, studio. This, this bathroom is gorgeous. Um, this is a Swiss cross marble shower surround from Bedrosians. We have never used it before and I love it. I actually love it more than I thought I would. Not that I like to design things I don't think I'm gonna love, but it's very black and I was a little concerned with how black it was. I was a little worried that it wasn't gonna provide enough depth, but marble never fails me. And it looks so, so good. We also went with a tumbled limestone in here. The only place you can really see it is around the, the toilet, um, which is not glamorous at all. But one of our favorites is called Tau Tumbled. It's incredible, you've seen it in tons of our projects. Then this little countertop stitch in here is a good one. Look at that sink. This is cast iron from Kohler. There'll be two faucets here, which is just gonna look so good. You can see right here. A huge mirror, sconces on either side. It's gonna be amazing. Mm. I feel like it's just so vibey. This is a false front on these, and then these are both horseshoed so that you get plenty of storage in there. Yes, it's coming together. So you're probably wondering like how much more construction time is on this house? Like six weeks as long as the landscaping can keep up with the build. So it's hard to believe, but once this is all uncovered and we're really starting to work on trim work, so electrical trim, installing lighting, installing plumbing fixtures, um, then appliances, we'll be on our way. So hopefully about six weeks. And then I'll have you back and I'll show you the reveal and walk you through and you can see the whole sp spot furnished, the whole space furnished. Now we're in the gym space. We have a hanging bed going in here, mirrors on one wall. Um, obviously the end user is going to determine what they do with this space. It could also be a secondary bedroom, another office, a dressing room, studio, whatever. Then this hallway is kind of the main secondary hallway. We've got another guest room here with this guest bath. It's kind of like a little mini take on my bathroom. This is Bianco Venetino. So same thing I have in my bathroom. I know the light gets weird. Um, but we cut it in super small four by fours. So it is really little tile. Um, and I just think it looks so, so, so good. It's so clean and timeless and just will never, ever, ever go out of style. We also did a two by two in the same marble on the floor. So pretty much every square inch of this place is covered in some form of marble. Kept the countertops nice and easy in here with ivory white honed from Arizona Tile. That single OG edge again. Integrated um, hardware on the cabinets. It just looks so, it's so balanced. So contemporary, but like feels so edgy. I don't know, I'm, I'm very impressed with this, <laughs> as you can tell. Okay, I'm back here. This is another secondary. This house has like six bedrooms, I think, six bathrooms. It's a lot. Um, similar on the cab, same cabinet, same countertop, same sink stitches in there, except this shower mm, is the liege from clay tile. It's so freaking good. There's just nothing wrong with it. It's absolutely perfect in like the most imperfect, lovely, beautiful, perfect Moroccan way. I just love it so much. This is very similar to what I have around my pool. I don't know why I'm just comparing everything to what I have. Probably because I love it so much, this house. I mean, I love them all, but this house I like really love. Really love. You guys are like dancing. If you guys could see what's going on behind the camera, it's all basically people just like this, and then they go, and then they're like, and then they're back, trying to stay out of Nick's way. 
Okay, this is the mini primary. So this is a second primary bedroom space and adjacent bathroom, so ensuite. The bathtub in here. Look at her. She is checkered marble, deck mounted. This is an entire wet room. So what will end up happening is there is a door here, a glass door right here, and a glass panel that goes like this all the way up to the ceiling. And this whole thing is wet. So here I am in the shower, you know, my shower head, and living my absolute best life in my amazing house. Actually, I'm probably the guest of whoever lives in this amazing house. And like, if this was the guest bath at your friend's house, like, would you ever leave? No, you wouldn't. It's incredible. This tile is, I want to say it's porcelainosa, but it's 3D and it has this ribbing in it, which is a hard sell for me. I'm going to be honest. Every time something comes out of the design team that has like this 3D textured, Sitch, it's, it's a little bit of a hard sell for me because I never want it to feel overdone or like too, too much. Like part of design is knowing when to pull back, right? But this was such a good call, such a good call by our team and it looks amazing and we put it everywhere and anytime you have the ability to put it everywhere, it usually turns out flipping amazing. So it looks so good. Um, the windows are all blacked out right now because they're painting outside. So I promise it's gonna get even better. But look at this tub, like the detail work on this tile on the deck mounted tub, or this is actually under mounted. Under mounted, deck mounted controls. Like look at how incredible that looks. The checkered marble, it's gonna be such a moment. Such a vibe, I cannot wait to install this thing. Double sinks, mm. it's gonna be good. Okay, let's go to the casita and check out the status there. I'm not sure what we're working with. It's dark. I've said that a lot. Um, but this powder room sink moment, I, I cannot make you wait for the reveal for you to see this because it's so good. More marble and look at this. The compliment, the compliment on these controls is so fly. I love it. This whole room is going black. Um, I wanna say black grass cloth, if I remember correctly. Okay, over here's the game room. There's nothing to see in here yet, but once the lighting goes in here, it's all gonna make sense. It's gonna be such a vibey space. There's also life-size chess going outside, which I hope stays with the house, but if it doesn't, I'll gladly take that one to my house because my girls will love the life-size chess. We're here in the casita. As I suspected, they are mid, mid, mid cabinet installs. So it's really hard right now to even get a good understanding of the space, but um, the kitchen's over here. It's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna have a peninsula with uh, counter stools on either side. And then this will be a seating area, TV here, big doors that fly open. There's a full bath in here. Let me see if there's anything good in here. This is a brown tile moment, which you guys know how much we are obsessed with brown, especially right now. It's having such a vibe and has been a very steady color in design for quite some time. So um, to keep this space a little bit lighter, we went with a brown surround on the tile and then capped it with a marble liner. So I like that it really helps draw your eye to it and doesn't feel so dark. Doesn't feel like, you know, brown, like ugly. Um, shower's gonna be so good. It's gonna look amazing. So that is the construction update at our 53rd Build YouTube. I don't know if we'll have time to have you back for like a, another construction update before it's finished. So plan to see the project completely furnished, absolutely perfect, looking like a snack here on our channel in the next few months. Make sure you talk to us in the comments, like and subscribe while you're here. If you'd like to follow me personally, my handle is at Kristen Forgione on Instagram and our brand account is at The Lifestyled Co. I can't wait to catch you on the next one. You look great. Yay, okay. Let's just shoot in here in the dark. I look great in the dark. Shocker. <laughs>